What's up guys, it's the Couch Potato here, and welcome to the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved. In today's episode, we're going to be doing some really cool stuff, so make sure you stay tuned. If you like what you see, make sure you smash that like button, and subscribe for more daily videos. Let's get right into it. So, yes, what you're seeing behind me is an active refinery, finally. We finally got a whole bunch of metal going. And when I say a whole bunch, uh, when all this is done, we're going to have over 600 metal all ready to use. I've also got a whole bunch of food cooking up for today's uh, work work day and everything like that. And uh, yes, I finally placed down the fabricator. It's in kind of an awkward position, but uh, hey, you know what? It works. I've also got plenty of extra metal um, because I didn't want to put more than 200 in each uh, refining forge. So um, let me show you what I've done. Uh, oh, also, the terror bird died. Um, yeah, it woke up and uh, I accidentally I jumped in. Uh, I didn't jump in, sorry. It woke up, I uh, was tranking it, and then I moved forward and the game had one of those like little lag spikes, and I fell in. And then it attacked me, and Indominus was right next to the uh, the cage, and uh, needless to say, he's on neutral. And so, the rest is history. So, um, the terror bird is now chilling inside Indominus' stomach, but that's okay, we'll get another one. But... What I have planned for today is going to outrank a terror bird tenfold because uh, I figured this little guy, or girl I should say, uh, just landed like right in front of my uh, my house. I came out the door and she she like trapped me inside the doorway. She's not a low, she's not like a really high level. Uh, she's only level 68, but I figured what whatever, you know, it's it's a, another pteranodon, why not? So I've got some uh, got some meat on her, and I've got some uh, narco berries because I don't want to waste any narcotics on this low of a level tame. Um, so I figured we could just tame her up, you know, have another pteranodon in the uh, in the base. But I also have been doing uh, some other work because today I want to get into flak armor, and I want to get into guns, and I want to get into uh, bullets and all that stuff. But I also I want to get a frog. You know, I want to get a frog or an Anki or a Doed or Dodic, however you want to pronounce that. Um, but I most definitely want to get a frog. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I think what we want to do today is first, um, I want to get a repair job on my chitin armor because whatever I fought um, did a number on it. Uh, I also went in and reorganized all of my uh, my smithy, so it's all nice and neat and organized, and we've got quite a bit more metal in here to use. Um, so we can go ahead and put all the chitin stuff in there, and I should probably go ahead and repair my metal hatchet, and my pike, and I'll just repair everything while we're at it. Um, so I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, like I said, um, we've got some, uh, good stuff planned for today. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff repaired up. May as well just repair it all. Let's see. Can I even queue that much stuff? Does it even stack it? No, it doesn't. Okay, there we go. So, we'll get all this stuff repaired and everything like that, and um, I'll wait till all the uh, the metal is cooked up. Um, and uh, then we can get into some flak armor before we go into the swamp, because I'm, I'm afraid to go into the swamp. I hate the swamp so much. And I'm sure, as many of you know that play this game, uh, the swamp is no bueno. I hate the swamp so much. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to do a little AFK work and uh, make sure all the metal gets cooked up. I've got some gunpowder gun powder being made Pardon me. in uh, this one. So I'm making 600 gunpowder. I've also got a crap ton more spark powder made up, so that's good. Uh, and then um, we'll get the food all ready to go. And um, when I have everything ready to go and we can go out and look for a frog... Uh, or actually first we'll make the uh, the flak armor uh, and maybe some bullets once we have all that stuff ready um, I'll bring you guys back in oh yeah you guys we got flak armor now we are so ready for battle it's not even funny we got our dimorphodon on our shoulder and now we've got the long neck rifle and a hundred fresh new bullets ready to put it in the skull of anything that's going to make us feel unsafe because there's a lot of that out there and uh, I figured there was another another thing, but if I could talk, another thing that we could make. And I think I have everything. Yeah, I do. Uh, five stone. Let's see. I need five. 
One, two, three, four, five. There we are. Go ahead and put the five stone in there. And we can make um, the scope attachment. So now we can zoom in and all sorts of stuff and be all fancy with our new long neck rifle. Which will help us out tremendously when we're in the swamp, I think. Um, plus picking off, picking, blah, picking off stuff from far away. Uh, I also put the, uh, the Alpha Raptor, uh, skull on my, uh, my new flak helmet just because I like the way it looks with the, uh, the flak armor. So, let me go ahead and put the scope on there. There we go. Oh, it feels so much better to have a gun in my hands rather than a crossbow. So, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna finish taming up the, uh, level 68 Pteranodon over here. She's still knocked out. She's still doing fine, I believe. She's almost tamed up. Um, if I can access her inventory. Yep. Yeah, she's doing fine. Uh, so she's almost there. I think I've got probably four, three or four more feeds to go until she's all tamed up. Uh, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on Indominus and we're going to walk to the, uh, the swamp because Buckbeak is not that strong. Uh, I know she's a level 188, but she doesn't have that much melee damage. She's only got JK. That's a lot of melee damage. How did she get that much melee damage? Um, well, maybe we will take Buckbeak. Uh, I still think I'm going to take Indominus, because one, it'll be a good leveling, uh, trip for him, and two, I'll feel a lot safer on the back of a T-Rex when going up against snakes and scorpions and everything else that wants to kill me. So, um, especially up against all those stupid bugs, too. So, uh, we're going to be looking for a high-level frog, um... So I've got plenty of Trank Arrows, we've got 127, and I could make like another 100 if I needed to, because I have all those arrows. Um, but I think 127 should do it. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until that uh, Pteranodon tames up, and then I'll bring you guys back when we are either on the way or in the swamp. Alright you guys, so I'm in the swamp, and um, I'm already terrified. I decided to come out on Buckbeak, and... Uh, because I'm thinking I'm going to bring the frog back to our little taming pen and tame him that way. Uh, instead of taming him in the swamp because everything here wants to kill me. Um, so that, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to fly around for a little bit. See if I can't find a frog that's worthy of taming. And uh, when I do... What level are you? Cool color, but not high enough. Uh, when I do, I'll bring you guys back in. Or if I see anything else exciting. We got our frog, guys. And it only took like an hour of searching. But that's okay, because we finally got one. Uh, and it's a 104. Which makes me pretty happy. Um, because I flew through so much swamp. Uh, I think I lost... Oh, man. I don't even know. My torpor got so close to knocking out Buckbeak like twice... I had to fly away and fly back a couple times, but we're okay now, and um, I think we're going to fly back and uh, get this guy, our, this female, all tamed up, and um, hopefully its stats can withstand the, uh, the swamp. I've debated whether or not I'm going to bring uh, Indominus with us whenever we go to the swamp, that way we have some added protection, but then again, you have to walk a T-Rex from the swamp to my house, so... Maybe in the near future we might be looking at um, a base move, um, but if I want to do that, we might be looking at a uh, Quetzal team, and uh, that I'm excited about because I know how to tame a Quetzal solo. Um, so let me fly back to the base and uh, get this guy all tamed up, and uh, when I have him all saddled up and we're ready to go, then we'll head back to the swamp and see how much cementing base we can get. I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's get this frog all knocked out, and uh, let's get some meat on her, and uh, now we're going to have a brand new frog. Uh, so this should only take a couple arrows. Oh, I really hope I don't kill this thing. I've never tamed a frog with arrows, I've only done it with trank darts, and now I'm really kind of afraid. So I'm going to let the maximum torpor go up. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, I'm actually really scared right now. Yeah, you just keep licking the wall, stupid. Okay, she's running away. I'll have to go out and get some prime meat. 
Is she knocked out? No, she's not. Darn. Come on. Get knocked out. Come on. Oh, she's looking at me. Look at her little eyes. Put it right between your eyes. La la la. Just shooting a frog the size of a small horse in the head with arrows on an island with, di with dinosaurs. Alright, we got her knocked out. So I'm going to go get some prime meat. And uh, when I got her all tamed up, I'll bring you guys back in. All right, you guys. Uh, like any second now, it only took like four prime to uh, feed this thing. Yep, there we go. <laughs> we got a frog. That was really simple. Holy cow. Uh, so I'm going to name this uh, frog what I've always named like every single one of my frogs in each playthrough. Um, her name will be Pasty because she gets cementing paste. So, uh, 155, let's check out her stats. So, she's got 1,100 uh, health. Wow, a whole ton of stamina. That's crazy. Um, 377 weight, 332 melee damage, and f um, 400% movement speed? What the crap? Okay, that's a lot of movement speed. Uh, so, we're going to leave her in here for now while I make up the saddle. And then we're going to go and check out uh, the swamp and see how much cementing base we can get from the bugs. Uh, so let's see. Let's go ahead and walk this little guy back. Little. Let's walk Indominus back. Oh, I also forgot to show you guys last time I was here. Uh, I put up some preserving bins. And uh, I've got a bunch of cooked meat in there as well as raw meat. And then I've got berries in here as well as some more raw meat. That way we can just kind of keep some more stuff. And I also, uh, the Pteranodon did tame up. Um, I named her Crimson. She came out at level 99. But look at her stats. Almost 1,000 health. Almost 2,000 stamina. But look at her melee damage. Um, like, almost... She's got 550 melee damage and 209% movement speed. Like, this could be our battle Pteranodon, for all I know. Like, she's really fast. She's got, like, unlimited stamina. And she's really powerful. So we might take her out and level her up um, to get her more powerful. Uh, but yeah, she is uh, like super, super powerful. Uh, way more powerful than um, uh, Thin Wing. So we'll, we'll leave her over there for now. Uh, and uh, we probably won't ever use Thin Wing again. Uh, but uh, let's see what it takes to learn the Beelzebufo saddle. Let's see. B. Oops, that was one too many bees. Beelzebufo. There we go. Um, you learn it like there. Okay. So I already have the cementing paste. I raided a bunch of uh, beaver dams and got a bunch of cementing paste. So this is a really cheap saddle. Um, just need hide. I didn't check how much, so we'll just grab like 400. And then fiber. Didn't check how much either, so we'll just grab another 400. And then I saw that we needed wood. So we'll get some wood. We'll bam, we'll bam. Oops, wrong button. Wrong button again. And there we go. Correct button. There we go. So we can go ahead and put the excess stuff away since I already grabbed way too much of it. Perfect. So now we got a Beelzebufo saddle. And I'm excited to have a frog again. Now, the only, really, the only other dinosaurs that we need to like function are uh, is an Anki and a, uh, a Dodic, or a Dodiceros, how, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, and then we can get a Quetzal, um, and then we can start getting into like the fun dinos. So like the Gigas and um, the Megalodons and the Plesiosaurs and all sorts of those, those fun dinos. Um, the dinos that you don't need, but you just want because they wreck face. Um, so let me just put all this stuff away. There we go. Alright, let's go saddle up my new frog there we go and let's go take her for a test ride uh, it is night I apologize about that and it is raining so it's the worst time ever alrighty let's see and close that up okay there we go 
And let's see if I can't jump her out of here. She's still got narcotic. I didn't even have to use, like, one narcotic on her. I'll go ahead and close that door. Can I jump you out of here? Sure can. All right, let's see how fast she moves with that 400% movement speed. Okay, I think that's fast. Um, all right, well, let's just go, you know? I like... If we die, we die. It's okay. We have a bed to respawn, but if we lose the frog, we lose the frog. It's okay. Um, she swims super, super fast. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and swim over or run over to the uh, the swamp. And when I'm there, uh, I'll bring you guys back in to see all the cementing pasty goodness. All right, we're here in the swamp, and I've got a whole bunch of Meganura following me. And I uh, figured it was time to uh, test out how well the, uh, the cementing paste gathering of the of the frog could do so let's test this is one one bug uh oh wait i can't see because of the dang level up overlay <clears throat> excuse me uh let's see here's another bug okay let's check 68 cementing paste per bug and i think it depends on your melee damage and actually the level of the bug I could be wrong about the level of the bug, but I know it depends on your uh, your melee damage. Um, but on my way here, I raided a bunch of um, beaver dams, so that's what you see in my inventory right there. And I actually killed a level 100 beaver by accident, so that's unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, we will find more, I'm sure. Um, so... I figure what I'm going to do here is, oh, there's another bug in the water. See? Free cementing paste. Yeah, see? 36 cementing paste from that one. So it must vary, uh, like, drastically. But uh, on my shoulder, you'll probably see that there's a compi. I, I went ahead and tamed one of them because, uh, you know, why not? It was there. May as well. Uh, and it came out with 513 melee damage, uh, which is a little insane for this little guy. Uh, so, I don't know what I'll call him, but he's just riding on my shoulder. So, I think what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to ride around here for a little bit, get some more cementing paste, and um, then I'll meet you back at the base, and we'll see uh, how much time we have left in the episode. Be right back. Guys, we're about to get the most amount of cementing paste, like, ever in this game. I'm about to turn around and show you what's following me. The horde of bugs. Oh god! I hope this doesn't kill my freaking frog. Oh my god, they're doing so much damage to me. Ugh. Holy crap, there are so many bugs. That's so scary. Oh my god. So much cementing paste though. Holy crap. If we can kill all these guys... Do you know how much cementing base we're going to have? Because I just raided two more beaver dams. Alright, let's just gather the cementing base while they're um, off above me. There we go. Come on, come down onto my level, please, so I can kill you and eat you and harvest your innards. Please. Holy crap. I just killed two titan boas and a sarco with this thing. And uh, the swarm, you saw it. I mean, holy crap, that was ter- oh, here comes another bug. No, 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 we don't need a- we don't need a snake, almost called it a spider. Okay, I need to go and heal up real quick, because this is not good. This is not good at all. I just need to pump a little bit of meat into me. That sounds gross. And then, let me pump up the, uh, the melee damage. Okay, they should be coming, right? Are they not coming anymore? Aww, they dispersed, and I'd rather not fight those two snakes. Oh, they're right there. <gasps> yes, let's kill them. Come on, eat that one. Yes, perfect. Don't hit the Dimorphodon. Do not hit the Dimorphodon. Don't hit me, snake. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Stop it. Well, we might lose this frog. I hope we don't. Oh, nope. Time to run. Time to run. Hit the Pariser. Hit the Pariser. And there's a Carno right there. It's time to run. Okay. We'll cut our losses. It's fine. We have plenty of cementing paste anyways. I'll show you what's in my inventory. It's crazy the amount of cementing paste that I just got. 
So let me get to a safe spot and open up my inventory. Hang on one sec. Um, this rock looks fine. Did I just step on a monkey? Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's get up on top of this rock if I can. No, darn it. Okay. Um, I'm like kind of scared that those, those bugs are going to like haunt my dreams now and they're just going to show up somewhere and just start flying around me. All right. Let's get up on top of this rock right here. Okay. Let's check my inventory. So all of the cement can based in my inventory I got from uh, beaver dams. So that's a decent haul worth of cementing paste, okay? So that's uh, 500, that's seven, uh, 715. 715 cementing paste in my inventory, just from beaver dams. In his inventory, there's 1,000, uh, 1,240. So you do the math. That's a crap ton of cementing paste. <laughs> Holy crap. And I was out here for maybe... Oh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, and I've already got over 1,300 cementing paste, I think. No, over, over 1,300 cementing paste. I, I apologize, almost 2,000 cementing paste. Um, so, yeah, uh, our cementing paste problems are solved now that we've got this frog. And uh, my stamina is not regenerating, so I need to hang on for a second. Um, but I think that might be where I'm going to call the episode because uh, we're running out of time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed the content. And remember, I upload uh, content every day uh, around noon Eastern time. Uh, and uh, I just, uh, I, I, like I said, I upload around uh, noon every day Eastern Standard Time. And um, right now it's only ARC content, but as newer games start coming out... Um, the channel will become more diverse and more stuff will be on the channel and, and everything like that. So starting June 21st, um, No Man's Sky will be on the, uh, on the channel. So I'm really excited for that game, if you couldn't tell. Uh, so if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's uh, at CouchPotato1898. Uh, I don't really update a whole lot there, but if I'm having trouble uploading a video or if the video is going to be late, uh, you can get it right there uh, and know about it first. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video.